And who knows, depending on how successful we are in next year's free agency, we might be letting go of some of our favorite young guys like Frank Nilakina, Mitchell Robinson, Kevin Knox, Dennis Smith Jr. They're all pretty much locked in for this season, but they do have rookie extensions and fourth year rookie options that have to be picked up by the Knicks before the start of next season which will be very interesting to watch how this plays out because the Knicks right now, they have $18 million left over in the cap that they have to spend. So I'm wondering if they're going to start spending that money on some of their young guys before the start of the season, or are they going to make a trade perhaps to get a more seasoned veteran on the team? Now, looking at the case of Dennis Smith Jr. and Frank Nilakina, they're approaching their final year on their rookie contracts, and the Knicks will have until December 21st to either give these guys an extension or they'll hit the mark and become an unrestricted free agent. Both of these guys are going to have to come into the season very sharp, especially it's going to be a shortened season. So they're going to have to prove their worth right away, especially Dennis Smith Jr. He's going to have to stay very, very healthy and consistent on both ends of the court and his decision-making got to improve. Frank Nilakina of the two has a better chance of getting extended because he can actually play defense and guard multiple positions in the floor. It's actually something you could point to and ask yourself, okay, Frank Nilekin can do this pretty well, but I can't say the same thing for Dennis Smith Jr. They're going to have a lot of competition, especially Dennis Smith Jr. with Austin Rivers being signed to the team. And he's also going to have to compete against Alfred Payton and Alec Burke. Frank Nilekin, I can't say so much because he can guard multiple positions once again, and he does a few different things. And what the team is basically asking of him is a lot different than what they're asking of Dennis Smith Jr. Also a bonus that's going for Frank Nilekina is that out of all the guards that the Knicks have, he is the best defensive option at that position. Now looking at Kevin Knox, the Knicks have until the 21st to renew his fourth year on his rookie scale contract. And if not, he'll enter the summer of 2021 as a restricted free agent. Now Kevin Knox situation is very unique because last season, the Knicks had spent most of their free agency money on players at his position. And in this current season, the Knicks had drafted another rookie that can take over his minutes at that position in Obi Toppin. And they also spent money on Norris Noel, who defensively is probably the better of the two. So Kevin Knox this season, he's gonna have to be very consistent, especially with that three-point shot he's been working on. And also defensively, he's gonna have to be consistent night in and night out. He can't have those nights where you don't know what you're gonna get from him. And finally, the Knicks will be looking either to pick up Mitchell Robinson's fourth year on his rookie deal or do him a favor by letting him hit the restricted market. Because he was a second round draft pick, he's going to be making a lot less money than he normally would. I believe in a circumstance like this, normally a team would actually give him a longer extension. But if the Knicks don't decide to do that before the start of the season, they're going to let him hit the market as a restricted free agent. And I believe if they are successful in that free agency, that they will be allowed to go over the cap and re-sign Mitchell Robinson and match any offer that Mitchell Robinson gets from other teams. Now, Mitchell Robinson this offseason will have to show improvement in which he can play more minutes at the center position without getting into foul trouble and play it consistently, especially without getting hurt. Now, it'll be very interesting to see how the situation with Mitchell Robinson plays out because the Knicks during the draft, it's very unusual, but they try to draft a traditional big in Vernon Carey. He eventually got drafted one pick before the Knicks at number 32 when we had the 33rd pick. And then once he got drafted, we quickly got rid of that 33rd pick. But Vernon Carey is a very traditional big. You know, nothing but low post game. He can only guard other centers. He's not going to come out to the perimeter and guard guys against threes, unlike Mitchell Robinson. But I found it very interesting that they try to draft a traditional big. I'm wondering if they're trying to get him as a backup plan just in case they're not able to match any offers Mitchell Robinson gets in the open market. But I'm also wondering if they try to get a backup center just in case the politics of where Mitchell Robinson is signed to in his agency, aka Clutch Sports, it ends up not working out with the Knicks. 